What's up? Fresh is our turn, baby. Gator. Okay, hi, this is Deidre. Um, today I will be showing you how to water marble, or I guess water marbling, as you could say. There's a couple things you're going to need. Um, first thing, you're going to want to get a rag or towel, something that you can lay down on the floor, the carpet, the table, wherever you plan to do your nails. Just a towel or something that you don't care that gets dirty. As you can see, there's a lot of nail polish everywhere. Then next you're going to want to have nail polish remover, tape, cotton balls, toothpicks, and Q-tips, a cup with water, and then a base coat, a primer, whatever colors you would like to choose for your nail polish, and a top coat. Okay. Now uh, with the cup you want to make sure that it's something that you don't mind if it gets dirty. As you can see, there's a lot of nail polish around the rim. You would prefer a plastic cup, paper cup, disposable cup, bowl, um, Tupperware, whatever. Just something you don't plan on using in the kitchen anymore. Okay, and then um, I recommend using bottled water or um, filtered water because sometimes tap water does not work. But you go, go ahead and try tap water first. See if it works for you. If it does, great. If not, then try bottled water. Okay, so I already went ahead and gave myself a manicure and um, shaped my nails and filed them down and put my base coat on, which was um, OPI's Natural Nail Strengthener. Okay, I put that on. And then I used my primer, which is Nabia's or Nabi or however you pronounce it. Just white, plain old white, nothing special. Um, I use this as my primer. You can use actually any color you want as your primer. You could use pink, you could use yellow, whatever color. But I feel that using white brings out the vibrant um, colors. It just shows more, you know, it just shows. I mean, as you can see, I did this one previously and I did this hand already. And my nail broke, but um, this is just to show you that it can be done on short nails as well. So you don't necessarily have to have long nails. You get a different design each time. Like I said, that's the point of it. It's creative being different, you know, just different. Okay, so I chose um, these four colors, which they're by Clean Color. Okay, and this one is called Colvat. It's like a deep bluish purple. This one is called Neon Pink. This one is Beach Blue. And this one is, oops, sorry, Neon Yellow. And then for my top coat, I have Orly. It's top to bottom. You can use it as a base coat or a top coat. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're basically going to put your cup right in front of you. And you basically want to get everything together first before you start because you do have to wick, work, I'm sorry, work quickly in this process. And you want to get all your colors, line them up, and you want to put the tape around your finger. This is why we need the tape. The tape is basically to help you out um, so you don't have such a big mess at the end, okay? Because you're going to be dipping your finger into that water with the nail polish. So with the tape, you're just going to wrap that around your finger. You also can use lotion, just a basic lotion um, around your finger. You can just squirt that on your finger and um, wipe it all around your finger. Or you can use oil as well just to go ahead and um, wipe that around your finger as well. We just want to get something around the finger so it prevents um, all this nail polish all over your finger basically in this area. So, um, let me go ahead and wrap um, my finger with tape. Okay, so this is how it's taped. I just put one strip on the back, one strip on the front, and then wrapped it around one finger. You can use lotion, you can use okay. oil, but I like to so, tape. Now so, now next you've taped your finger up. You can tape all your fingers at once, or you can do one by one. I'm just doing step by step. Okay, now I'm going to start with my first one. I just go in and out in the nail polish. You can even shake it up a little bit if you want. Now I tend just to tip it over just a little bit. You want to get that thickness on the tip of your brush, okay? That's what we want. It's a drip. You see that? We just want it to drip like that, okay? So what we want to do is get close to the water and just drip a little, okay? Like that. 
Okay, see how it's spread out? That's what we want. That's good. Okay, so some nail polishes you will use, it's not going to spread like that. Then our next color. Okay, see it spread? Then our next color. See, you want to work quick. So if you have to tap on your brush a little on the side of the cup, there you go. Okay, next color, yellow. If you even have to dip again, go ahead, as long as you get, there you go. Then you're going to kind of build a bullseye. That's what I would say it would look like. And you don't have to build it this big if you don't want to, but you can, which I'm doing it. Okay. And remember, you got to work quick here, because you don't want this nail polish to dry. Okay, and yellow is my last color right there. Then you're going to take your Q-tip, not your Q-tip, I'm sorry, your toothpick. I always do that, I always say that. Okay, and you can start from the middle, you can start from the end, however you, I'm just going to start like this. You're going to drag it gently across, wipe on your towel, gently across, across your towel. You're just trying to create a design here, that's all you're trying to do. Okay. And a good tip also, too, is if you make a design, like, for example, you go like this, and then you go, oh, I don't like that part right there, you can just dip right in the center and get rid of it, okay? So, just keep on creating designs however you want. And then when you find a design you like, which I like this one right here, you're going to take your nail, it's already taped, and you're going to, let me see... You can even move the cup around if you want a little, which I'm going to do that. Got to just be careful. Okay. Then you're going to dip your nail in. Hold it in there for a couple seconds. And then you're going to take another toothpick and just clean up all this excess nail polish. Just going to scoop it out. Get rid of that one. Go back one more time just to make sure you've got everything because you don't want to mess the design up that you have. Get out of here. My dog's coming. Okay, and then that's what you come up with. Okay, now as you can see, I've already took it out the water. I still have tape all over me. You see all that nail polish all over? That's exactly why we put the tape on. So you can just go ahead and take it off. So now I've taken the tape off and you can just clean all that up on the side with the cotton ball and the q-tip. So if you guys like my designs on my nails and you think you did a good job, go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Just go ahead and push the yellow button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. What's up? Fresh is our turn, baby. Gator, gator, boots, whatever. Gator, coaches, them coaches.